What does it take to be a recipe developer creating new chip flavors for mass market? We're here at Frito-Lay headquarters to meet the culinary team behind all of the Lay's potato chip flavors. You may remember the Do Us A Flavor campaign where you could submit chip flavors that you want Lay's to create for you. I submitted a few, they did not get approved. But we are here to go into their flavor lab to see how this process works. What happens after you submit that flavor request? Research chefs is a new field right. that companies are now using a lot more than they ever did before. This culinology field is blending culinology. of culinary, culinology, blending of culinary arts and food science. I never and, knew which is that what we existed. do. Yeah, that's culinology. what we do. Culinology. Yeah. We're cooking from real food, mainly so that they can get a real laser target idea of what the final product should taste like. You and I have both, you know, done a little bit of research and development to come up with new menu items in the restaurant. We need to produce a chip that tastes like chicken and waffles. Where does that begin for you? Well, it begins with consumers telling us that they want a certain flavor. Chicken for the fried chicken has to be brine. Right. How long does this brine? Overnight. So it's dry, batter, dry again. Yeah, but the last dredge Needs, needs a little batter in there, so I'm just gonna... I'm just ah, gonna... I have not seen this before. Gives an exterior texture. Flaky crispy. It's completely different from that point than being in the restaurant. You're under time pressure, you gotta just cook. Yeah. Here we gotta slow it down. Right. We've gotta overthink it. We don't just have one chef make what they think is the best chicken and waffles. We have three. Everyone will decide which one best fits this concept and the brand. Then we'll recreate it and we'll get a, a set of experts in the room who all have uh, highly sophisticated palates. The chefs and our seasoning team and the flavorists. That's There's a seasoning term. team and flavorists? Flavorists will taste it from a really analytical standpoint. Right. What are the individual flavors you're tasting? What time order are you tasting them in? What level of intensity do you taste it at? What does it do after you taste it in your mouth? Does it rise, does it fall? Does it, you know, is, is it gone with the last swallow or does it linger through the finish? They will use all that information and the culinary gold standard to create the seasoning that goes on the chip that will actually eventually. Make it to the end. In the restaurant, you'd be, you'd be wanting that to have like the perfect texture. Texture and appearance really don't come too much into it. And don't it's matter. really all about the flavor. flavor. There's no ambiguity, there's no question. This is the flavor we want you to reproduce. You know what's really surprising? Okay, let's take a simple thing. Ketchup. If we poll consumers in the United States where ketchup is the number one condiment, they do not want it on a potato chip. Canada loves it on a potato chip. Really? Yeah, absolutely. That's so interesting. It's insane. What are some of the most out there flavors oh, man. you've been asked to develop? Oh, we did turducken. Ooh. You know, and for those that don't know about that, <laughs> oh. it's a chicken? chicken inside of a duck inside of a, a turkey. turkey. That is a Dirty monstrosity. Rice. In the UK, one of the winners was Cajun squirrel. And that made it onto a In chip? In the UK. Actually... I'm glad we're not uh, playing around with that one today. Now we're going to make the gold standard for the Greek town hero. Beef ribeye, lamb shoulder, parsley, cilantro, onion, garlic, and a whole bunch of Middle Eastern spices. It has za'atar, turmeric, curry powder, coriander. It's also got something that uh, is the sciency part of this, which is translutaminase. Never heard of that. Meat glue. Me, I have heard of that. I've used that. Okay. It's an enzyme that binds protein to proteins, and then it turns out just like a, a hero off the spit when we're done. Oh my gosh, there it is. This is a modified tzatziki, more in the Middle Eastern rather than the Greek arena. Okay. When we were doing this research to get this right, we were losing some of the, the lamb flavor in the, in the final dish. 
So we decided to make a little concentrated, you're gonna give that a whiff, a little concentrated lamb jus. Wow, I have never seen so, this before. No, it, and you probably no, won't I ever won't. see it again. <laughs> we cook here in a way that we would never cook in Great. a restaurant because we couldn't afford it. That was about two pounds of meat and little bone scraps roasted until they were like totally all caramely yep. brown meat juices that were caramelized right. on the bottom of the pan. We had a flavor Maybe not a too brisket. long ago, West Coast truffle fries. Oh wow. Gold standard. Would have sold in a restaurant at about $150 a plate. Right. You know, for fries. Yeah, not gonna do that in a restaurant. No. But they were really good fries. Right, right. <laughs> Chicken and waffles. Oh my gosh. I immediately smell syrup. Yeah. And then savory. Yeah. You know, cut it open. Oh my gosh. Beautiful chicken. Look at that. Yeah. Sweet, savory, crunchy, salty, butter, maple syrup, chicken. Now taste the chicken. <laughs> I'm like, I can't, I just spent the whole day in here with you. <laughs> And I still, it's like blowing my mind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna confirm that. You were mentioning before the order of tasting things. When you're eating chicken and waffles, the waffle is your base. When you're eating the chip, you get the waffle flavor first. It's and then the syrup creeps in and then it's a little savory. That's so specific yeah, it's and very intentional, in I'd imagine. It is very intentional that the, the timing of the flavors in your mouth when you eat the, the chip right. is the same as what you experienced in the original real food because so that's, that's how you're supposed to taste right, it. Right, you're having the same experience eating it. It's so Odd good. Thing. Wow. Working here has really wow. kind of fine-tuned some right? of my you cooking, right? You can really right? hone in on what you're you going know, and after. I'm documenting everything, so I'm like, you know, fine-tuning. Yeah. All, All right. right, now All for right. the chip version. I'm telling you, it's all about. It's exact. Yeah. Like these as dishes on their own are really, really good. Yeah. <laughs> it certainly translates yeah. to the chip. In fact, I'm just gonna keep eating them. We're injecting, a, you know, or surrounding uh, the, this art of culinary right. with, with science. And certainly when I see these chips on the shelves, what it takes to get them there is mind boggling. For more videos, chip here. <laughs>